Alright guys, this is episode 3 of the teacher. Uh, the whole way home the sexology class played on repeat in my mind. Especially the golden moment with Mr. with me and Mr. Collins. Thinking about his eyes looking into mine gave me goosebumps and left me sighing. I don't remember ever feeling like this. I don't ever remember. I don't remember ever feeling this love struck by a man's looks before. Hell no. Nah. But Mr. Collins looks is in the league on its own. Uh, Madeline, one of my classmates, has already bragged about her plan to go on at least second base with Mr. Collins. <laughs> That's pretty. That's um, so inappropriate. But I won't. But I wouldn't expect anything else from her. She's not exactly known for respecting the rules and laws. My first day as a nanny starts tomorrow. I better start packing. I also have a date with Jake in a couple of hours that I need to get ready for. I start with the packing some things. Then we'll pack the rest tomorrow morning before I leave. Well, girl, you ain't got shit in your room, girl. So shit. Packing should be a goddamn breeze. One hour later. A shower did me good. Now I just need to change for my day. Um, I'm going to go through all of them. I don't like this. No. So the casual. Mm, that, that doesn't match. No. Okay, we can do this. It, it's good. Yeah, perfect. Um... Curl it. Yeah. Perfect. And just in time, Jake's here. Great. Now that we're here, will you please tell me which movie you picked? Hmm. I'm thinking I should just let you find out when the movie starts. That way you have no time to escape. Well, you thought this through, having you? Yeah. You know me. Come on, just tell me. Okay, fine. Only because you and surprises don't go very well together. You know me too. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> We're going to watch the assassin. Fem tells. Fatal. Is it the kind of uh, lame take on the action movie isn't filled with romance and an action movie for women? Oh yeah, and you're gonna love it. I doubt it. We're going in anyway, come on. They kissed, finally. Uh-oh. Really? <sighs> I absolutely followed him to countless... Uh, obediently followed him to, uh, to countless of four in action movies these past few years. I watched them even if they weren't exactly my cup of tea just because I respect his choice. But whenever it's the other way around, he won't do the same for me. It wasn't always like that, though. In the beginning, he would do anything to make me smile. He was always focused on me and my feelings, but now it's a whole other story. Sad thing is, it doesn't bother me enough for me to get mad about it anymore. I know he doesn't do this to hurt me. I know while we're doing this to each other, I know. Okay, it's hard to accept, but I know it's because we've grown apart. 
We don't really have anything in common anymore besides school. There's no way around it. I need to talk to him. Mm. We need to talk about us. I've been thinking about that too, man. You have? Yes. <laughs> I really care about you, Jake. I always, I will always care about you. I know and I hope you know that I care a lot about you, too. I do. It's just the sparks. They're not there. Exactly. I think we both go on the same page. I think we're both on the same page. So let's just, I'm glad we both feel the same way. Me too. We're still friends, right? Of course. It was a weird sensation that flew through my body right at the, right there in that moment. A feeling of losing something which made me sad, but also a sense of relief came over me. I was happy that Jake felt the same way. It made everything a lot less hurtful. This was just the last drop. The drop that made us realize the fact that this thing we've got going on isn't substantial anymore. We ended everything that night with the one last kiss. It's Saturday and today I move in with the Collins. I've really been looking forward to this. I need to look presentable and professional today. So I picked out three outfits last night. Now I just need to figure out which one of them to wear. Um, let's see. Simple sophistication. No, girl, this shit ugly, girl. And this is a lot of fucking yellow. And let's see, pink perfection. I'll take this, because that other shit was a lot of fucking yellow. I mean, like, a lot. Um, pull it up. No. Straighten it. Oh, uh, we gonna go back with the curls, y'all. Yeah. Perfection. Great, I'm ready. My bags are packed. Let's do this. I have a doorbell ringing. Coming. This bitch got a new outfit on. Hello, Mia. Good to see you. You look very pretty today. Hey, Mrs. <clears throat> oh, I mean, Ellie. And thank you. So, do you, um, uh, do you think so? Thank you, dear. I have to go buy some last minute things before I leave, so I asked Daryl to show you around. I hope that's okay with you. Sure, of course. Daryl, the new nanny's here. He should be be here soon. I think you guys must be around the same age. What? I think you can. Daryl might be a bit older than you. He's 24. Dallas. Jesus Christ. Can you get off my head, sir? How old are you again, sweetie? I'm eight. Oh, I saw an all too familiar handsome man walk towards us. At first, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. Um, because I've been thinking about him so much. Girl, wait a minute, girl. Will you look at that? This rose, right? And I was like, uh uh, girl, I can't. Yep. You guys, it's my child's father's birthday today. Seems like you two have already met. No, but there you are. <laughs> oh gosh, Sally, movie. Um, sitting right in front of me with his deep brown eyes, pearly white teeth, and muscular. Yeah. Oh, if you guys, I would have been like, oh girl, I can't work for you, child. <laughs> 
<sighs> was my new tall, dark, and handsome teacher. Yes, we, um, he, um, let me see. You seem nervous, Miss Rose. Um, no, you just surprised me, that's all. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yes, your son is my teacher, Ellie. A funny little coincidence, huh? Anyway, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Yeah, funny. <laughs> see you later, mother. <laughs> OMG. OMG. I was definitely not expecting this. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Uh, well, seems like we're going to spend a whole lot of time together, huh? Um, it felt like my heart was going to beat out of my chest. It was way too attractive to say something like that to a hopeless girl. I was nervous as hell and my mind was going crazy with impure thoughts of him and I alone in this big house. Get your shit together, Mia. Um, yeah, I guess so. So, toward the house? Oh, uh, yeah. I, hey, relax. This is weird for me too, but don't worry. I'm not going to give you a give you a detention if you make my little sister cry or anything getting a detention isn't exactly why I'm nervous I bet he knows that already too I can literally feel my brain turn into goo <sighs> I don't know um I don't suppose I can say anything right now without humiliating myself so um Let's let's go with the think out loud. The tension with you doesn't sound bad. What the hell, Mia? What did you just say? What? Nothing. I just, shit. <laughs> I think a deep breath will help, Miss Rose. Stop calling me that. Better. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, this is the hall. And up there's Kylie's room. She's not home right now. I'll show you it. I'll show it to you later. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's get going after you, Miss Rose. A gentleman, too. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wright here um, might give me a heart attack soon if he keeps that up. Thank you, Mr. Collins. What is he's uh, uh, Stop calling me Miss Fucking Rose, though. Seriously. He showed me around the magnificent mansion, room by room. Kylie's room. He was very formal. I almost didn't even dare to look at him. I honestly, I was honestly afraid that my eyes would blow up. Uh, with giant hearts if I looked at him. And the kitchen was modern and spacious. Was I can definitely see myself cooking here. Sipping on cocktails and stuff. No, I'm too young to drink. Sigh. Go by. It's getting lit at the age, child. <laughs> the garden, which I early got a quick glimpse of, was beautiful. He told me that his mother was very fond of gardening and she took care of all the flowers herself. No wonder she had such a hard time leaving her roses a year or so long time. I felt bad for her, but... <sighs> I hope, but I also really respected her for what she wanted to do for her mother. Um, I wouldn't have, I would have done the same thing for my mother. And this is my favorite room, the man cave. Very cool. Um, wrong way. Embarrassing. I was just looking around. Of course you were, Miss Rose. Is this my room? 
Actually, it's my room in my office. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting in my teacher's bedroom. That was his bed. He's been sleeping here. This is a bad idea. How am I supposed to focus on anything when he's everywhere? You're welcome to share it with me. But I'm sure you'd rather have your own room, right? Oh my god. I'm not sure if he meant what that was a flirtatious gesture or if he just tried to be funny. But I'm not with the reform with see me come back to right now. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just reading in my head now. Are you crazy? I can't do that. I can't say that. No, uh, uh, who are you? Are you trying to make me seduce this guy? Um, well, you better stop that. You can't see them struggling to say your ideas already. I'm sorry I didn't feed to yell at you he's just so sexy and this is really frustrating sigh who are you how are you talking to your damn self girl i'm just gonna pretend i'd rather have my own room in the class even sure why problem with that yes <laughs> well you're not helping me you better <laughs> behave jesus i'm trying to get me i'm <laughs> trying to get me fired on the first day <laughs> i think it's better if i mean I would like my own wrong place. That's what I thought. There's not much space in here anyway. Well then, let me show you to your room. <laughs> wow. This is gorge, girl. Gorge. I didn't have this room in so many episodes. This is my room? It's all yours. Thank you so much. I love it. I thought you might. It's a bit nicer than mine's, right? <laughs> now, you, now you be quiet. Don't you try and sabotage me again. <laughs> Seriously. Who are you anyway? Are you my evil <laughs> conscience or something? I'm the devil on your shoulder. Yes, girl. <laughs> well, devil, try and be nice with you. I know it's hard, but please try for me, okay? Good. This room is, uh, your room is nice too, but this room is definitely just my style. Here we go. Good devil. Much better. <laughs> That's basically it. I'll let you unpack and settle in. Thank you so much, and thank you for showing me around. No problem. Have some paper sugar. You know uh, where to find me if you need anything. Smile and wave. I think it's better if I just keep quiet. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Okay, are you leaving? Oh, Miss Rose? Yes. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> and will he stop calling me fucking Miss Rose, child? Okay, you guys. This was interesting, to say the least. Um... I don't know. I, I would really like to, you know, get into his mind. <laughs> See where the hell his fucking head is at. But uh, this is episode two. And I think I'm going to post two more <laughs> episodes today. And then, you know. Um, but not of this, though. So. Well, maybe of this. I don't know. Two more episodes of anything today. And then I'll probably be done for the day. Thank you for watching my video.